Okay, hello everybody. All right, now that I have my colors, <laughs> then I know what I'm gonna do. I'm going to get my paints out here. <clears throat> This is the last bit of this paint and I want to use it all before I open this one. Hello, my name is Say, if you're new here. I make art and illustration and every year I come out with a new Blessed Mother painting and this one actually I sketched out three years ago and I'm finally doing it. Um, <clears throat> so here we are. And we're getting the base coat down. I have my color palette. This is my little rough color sketch. Um, I know it's very rough, but those are the colors that I'm going to be doing. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. I don't often paint this big, but I don't think, I think I want to just round this out. So I actually saw this image when I was at my grandma's funeral um, rosary and um, I saw it in the flame of a candle and I knew I had to do it but I hadn't obviously I haven't done it until now. <laughs> here we're gonna use this little little elephant stand to help prop me up here so I don't get this all over my palette not my palette my oh whatever this thing is on my desk Thank you so much, Ash, for the cat paws. That's such a cute little gift. Thank you for the, the gift there. Now this piece is called Flame of Love. It actually goes along with a prayer called the Flame of Love Prayer, which is pretty cool. I just found out about the prayer this year, even though I sketched this three years ago. And um, it's pretty neat. Goes like, I'm gonna read it really quick. It goes with the Hail Mary. So if you say the Hail Mary, it goes Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. And this is the new part spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. How beautiful is that! praying for everybody. I love it. So that's honestly where it, I've been told this came from. Like, it's just crazy to sketch something and then to realize that it's all connected. It's just so neat. All right, let me get to the top of this right here. Oh, and of course, I did not know this station had to add, so we're going to turn that off really quick. All right. Here we go. There we go. One of the most calming things to do is just paint backgrounds. And I haven't actually physically been painting um, for fun, even though I felt called to do this. I haven't been able to paint for fun for a while because I've been working on commissions. And um, I love commissions, actually. I'm almost caught up, but today felt really special. And I needed to do this. And since it's Sunday, it felt like a good time, you know? All right. If you guys have any questions in the comments, I'll look on over. 
Oh, thank you for the follow. Who was that? Elena, I really appreciate you. I'm probably wondering what I'm painting on. This is actually the back of a sketchboard. Um, like a sketchbook pad of paper. I always save them because I don't like wasting. And um, you know what? I'm just gonna clean the bottom of this thing. This, the stand thing isn't working right here, okay. <laughs> but um, it creates a great texture and it's also really nice to use everything we have. Okay, we're gonna let that, well, we can let it dry or not. Okay, let me get some more lavender here. I'm gonna get some darker tones going. So this, literally, this sketch has been sitting up in my studio for the past year. It's one of those unfinished pieces. And I just, you know how you just like put things off and you're like, no, no, you gotta keep going. You gotta keep doing it. There's a reason. Yeah, today's the day. <laughs> Um, it's going to keep bouncing until I tape it down for a while. Just because it's such a long board, I usually work smaller or I have an easel, but with easels I find like canvases are better. For that. scrubbing my cutting board after this <laughs> right now it's okay we can get messy it's part of the art experience I just love this color I'm gonna add a little bit more darker into the corners Hey Kate, hello everyone for joining. Thank you so much. If you're new here, my name is Say. You can follow me follow me here at Say Studios and everywhere that's says Say Studios, that's me, S-E-Y. I've been making art for over 20 years. And I make all kinds of whimsical, happy, celestial things. All right, I'm going to have to let this dry before I add another layer. Even though I'm attempting to, it's just going to end up lifting the paint that's already there. So we're going to let that settle. And then I'm just going to let it be and work on another piece. Hey, Kate. How are you, darling? Okay, clean out the brush. Cleaned pretty well. this side. I'm going to have, I have both palettes going today. All right. So let's do her face. Actually, let's do her outfit. So that means I do not need this one open. I need a, like a mint. Um, I know what I need. I'm just not saying the word. Oh yeah, it is mint. Pistachio mint or jade glass. This one's more on the yellow side this one's more on the blue side <laughs> i'm good am i ready for the fourth of july i feel like i'm getting ready for it i went swimming for the first time ever and well actually well for the first time in the warm part of summer right i don't know i think i'm gonna use both <laughs> i can't decide i'm gonna use both um, how about you? Are you ready for the fourth? If 
feel like that's the color I want, but that's what I'm going to get with the, um, Okay, this one needs to be revived. But things are coming together, I feel like. Okay, so I wanna add. Block in some colors. in this yeah see what I'll do is I'll use this green on the bottom because it's more of that cool tone and then as we get higher here it's gonna have that warmer light to it so we'll just blend right into that green Whee! there we go okay It was interesting when I was drawing this I had no intention except I just felt like I needed to draw what I kept seeing and um, in my mind and I actually have after I finished sketching this um, I realized I drew my brother and sister in heaven this is Mary Elizabeth and that's Dominic Joseph but they symbolize all those who are lost or didn't make it earthside or who have been abused So we need to pray for all of them, even though they are protected and loved in heaven. There's still people here on this earth suffering, and we got to help them and their families. I'm definitely liking this color choice. That sounds nice. We already had fireworks going. Don't have a lake, but we have a neighborhood of of light for sure. <laughs> yeah, we are gonna go, um, or I'm definitely gonna go swimming again. My kiddos are still sleeping themselves, so probably swim and eat a little bit. It's so hot here, so we, there's like no way going outside without being in a pool is possible. I got up to 111 yesterday. I think it's going to be that way for a couple more days. <laughs> we have a heat wave. smaller brush I am trying I really love the color though I am glad I went with this choice okay so we need a smaller brush that's where we're going okay I think I need to get new brushes y'all I keep pulling out these old classics and they work fun great this picture is so cute I'm loving the colors oh thank you me too, I really am. I think I was tied up with, like, I didn't know how I wanted to color it originally. Oh, wait, let me um get this camera adjusted a little bit so you can see the bottom, because now I'm working down here.
been looking at different color palettes and stuff and just really enjoying all the possibilities of blending as opposed to just you know just like the possibilities of blending from one color to the next and then lightening those so that's what we're doing here light green in here, just a little bit. I'm going to brush that in. And up here too. Not all the way down. Just some. I always try to make these, and my mom ends up going like, I want that one. And I'm like, you can't have them all. <laughs> oh, this is the one I needed to fix. I think I ended up leaving a little glue in it. But I know how to fix them now. But actually, this is a good texture, so it's... Like, it's a little stiffer, so... Go me. <laughs> Also a good size, but it's not too big. And color block those in gradually. Um, I feel like Well, let's get her colors in first. I wanted to get her hair up in here. want to do it like this color like it doesn't have to be pink pink like this melon so we're gonna do a melon thank you for the likes you guys I just got this new um, wall mount for my paint so I haven't done it yet I'm still turning behind myself to grab my paints but I'm really excited. I just remembered, so I was grabbing another one. I thought I was going to need more, but actually I got more of her hair to cover here. And... Oh, that's his outfit. <laughs> and this little one can be also that melon color, so do that for hers. Like originally I had her veil wrapped, but um oh maybe I want to do that. Okay, maybe I do want to have her feel wrapped like she's protecting them because that's what she's doing. So now I want to change the little one's color. I could do the baby. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, I'm gonna actually change it. Here, we'll just uh, cover it with a little bit of white. 
think I can put them in white with a blue. Let me think about that. I was actually going to give her more of that green color, but I'm going to need a base of white to get the true color down since I put down the pink. Let me think about that one, which what's going to end up being. Because the kids could both be the they're pure. Maybe they'll be both in white. Maybe they'll both be in white. Maybe that's what they're supposed to be in. Cover's little hand there. <laughs> Gotta fix it anyway. about painting on the board here and because it's so warm is that it does soak up the paint quite quickly so it dries very well I was pictured Mary with like a lighter brown hair so we're gonna do that like kind of a golden color like this one I don't have to go anywhere. a brown. <laughs> I didn't want to, but I'll just mix it all up, make sure I have enough to cover. And
I need a smaller brush. <laughs> Thank you all for the likes and for hanging out today. This piece is called Flame of Love. What I'm going to do is 50% of all the profits, so half of all the profits sold for this piece will go to our rescue, which is a nonprofit charity that goes and helps save those who are human trafficked. And helps them. So, peace isn't up there yet because obviously I'm not done, but I'm getting there. This one should almost be like this. Like her veil's coming to wrap around again. Did you know that for Our Lady of Guadalupe, that painting over in Mexico City, well not painting, this is not technically painted, um, that the symbols all on the outfit that she's wearing mean there are certain things. So like the pink tie around her waist that's high above means that she's pregnant. Or with child. Which is why it's pink. And it had to symbolize I think fertility. I'm not sure. The, don't don't quote me on that one, but it was specific for expectant mothers. So 
I, I like to incorporate that in whenever I'm painting Mary while she's with child. It just I just a really fun fact and symbol. There we go. Come along. Boy, do I remember the days of being pregnant. That was an experience for sure. Yeah, it's really neat. There's like so much symbolism within that one. And in fact, the colors that are on that um, image cannot be re replicated. And that it actually is always, they like scientists have like gone and tested even the temperature of the painting and it's human temperature, 98.5 Fahrenheit or 98.6 or whatever our normal temper body temperature is, but it always remains that way. It's really unique. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna... I've always been fascinated by that. <clears throat> Pretty neat. that the um, prayer flame of love actually came to a lady in Hungary back in the 19th mm, I want to say 20s or 30s I could be wrong but it's in her diary and that I don't think she's on the list of hopeful canonized saints but she's went through a lot like lost all her family in her actual lifetime and was the only one to survive I believe it was during the Holocaust. I barely found, like I said, barely found out about it. Um, so I'm not very privy to all of the information, but you can look it up. Hello, Kayla. How are you? Thank you so much. I am doing well today. Got to go swimming. And I finally felt like it's time to work on this painting because it's been in my studio all sketched for three years. Still hadn't worked on it and today was the day. <laughs> so here we are. That's too dark. I want it to be just a light. There's my little scrap of feet. That could be it. Everywhere her veil falls, I want it to have like a shadow. Oops. Not there, but that's okay. getting there. I'm like, oh, okay. 
this one I thought I lost. I fixed him up the other day. And I use this um, brush cleaner called the Truckle. It's by Truckle Art Supplies. I'm probably saying it wrong. But anyway, um, I ended up washing it. It was stiff because I had put in glue on it and let it dry. And I totally forgot about it. Um, I was so sad. And so anyway, I put it on, kept washing it. And it was still stiff. So I had it soak with the cleaner when like this much water. And I probably could do it with this one. We're going to see if it works later. But um I made it come back and I was so glad because I love that brush. This one is from Japan. I got it back in college and um, there was a lady, a, we called her the brush lady um, and she'd come to the campus and sell discounted brushes to the art students because um, she, well she owned a brush store down in LA. She probably still does, her and her family still own the art store. I never got to go there but um i probably recently driven by it because i was down in the santa monica la area a couple weeks ago um for my daughter because we had an appointment for her teeth but the um we went by that district because my mom wanted to go to i don't know if it's little japan or little tokyo or, i have no idea i'm not very good with directions but I knew it was over in that area and my mom wanted to go um she found a certain kind of tree for her garden so we went to this nursery but i didn't realize it until we left i was like that art store is probably right around the corner because it's not as big as you think it is here i'm gonna kind of make another layer here make it loop -de -loop. This is one of my favorite things when a baby does that, when it reaches up to your face and just goes, I'm here with you. Anyway, I could have stopped by because it is quite a trek out there, but um, I, I was able to revive the one I had. So that was good news. Literally did that yesterday, the day before. And I didn't think it would work. I was like, mm, well, it's already gone or we could try to save its life. <laughs> okay. Now it may not look like I'm doing much, but I'm actually doing something called dry brushing, right? So I fill up my paintbrush with a, just a tiny bit of color or pigment or medium or whatever. And um, I put it right on top dry and so it gives this really neat feathery effect but you got to make sure you clean out your brushes because when you don't clean them out right away they look like this i've had this one a while no this is the one i want to try to save this is the one i did save from the glue and it's like freaking besides the base it looks pretty dang good and it feels like a baby brush again it's so crazy this one i kind of love the texture it's a filibert but it's a sad little dude but I haven't done what I did with this one, so we shall see. In fact, I got I got two filibirds. I love this type of brush. It's just because it's kind of fanned out. This one's also sad, but it works for great for dry brushing. <laughs> but then when you want to get the finer details, not so good. You need a uh, you need help. <laughs> you need those smoother brushes. I'm gonna use this little guy. I did save it, um, and then I'm gonna put just a wee bit of brown in this area so she's got that hair showing through and it gives a breathing space here and a little bit more unique quality um, that should go all the way down, but um, anyway, unique quality to like the shapes of everything. There you go. That's pretty good. And then, oops, yeah, we're good. I really don't need to worry about this part because I still need to do her face and stuff. So. This is the 
Virgin Mary pregnant with Jesus and then she has two little ones in her arms and it is called the flame of love it's a piece I it's a it's a from a vision I saw when I was saying the rosary for my grandma's funeral and um, just about how we had to pray for all the kids who you know were in bad situations or were harmed in any way and then I came across the this prayer recently called the flame of love. I didn't know the title. I just named it like literally like this week because I was like, Oh my gosh, it's all connected. Um, and just how it's just great. So just look up flame of love prayer, um, online, but you can also say it with the hail Mary. It's really amazing. Um, but it, it actually, and I, you know, like, I don't know where y'all are at, but for me, I, I truly believe it. Um, they say it blinds, Satan and evil spirits from doing harm um, or they can't they get confused basically when you say it and protects you and all of humanity that needs it um and it helps those in need so anyway you do what you can and in moments where you don't know what to do you pray and you pray also when you can as well I don't know I just I wouldn't be here without it and I feel like life is deeply connected to the spiritual side so um I don't know. I've always said when I was growing up too, no, I should correct that. I do know when I was growing up, I'd always feel really sad for the, you know, the babies who didn't get adopted or didn't make it or whatever. And I would spiritually adopt them so they wouldn't feel like they were alone. But then this image came and I was like, they were never alone. They're never alone. But we still need to pray for everybody because it's hard. Life ain't easy. (laughs) Life is so difficult. Okay, I need to get some... Tone on her face. But yeah, so it's the Virgin Mary. This is the same color. I had two. You all, I had two right next to each other. Okay. Who's been open longer? Um, This one's new. So I need to put this one back, which is good. because Anyway, I'm talking a lot. So anyway, I'm drawing the Virgin Mary. I do one every year. Um, a different one every year. And I started one in December. I haven't finished it. But this is the one I was told I need to finish. So here we are. <laughs> I feel like this needs actually a little bit of pink. Cause let's see. Oh, you know what? Let's use that hand. This I always say handy dandy like um blues clues. Oh, thank you, Starlight. After this, you can you take the suggestions if you want. Oh, thank you. Um, I don't know if I'm going to take suggestions today. I think I really just want to focus on this. And work on it. Oh my gosh, it feels like a baby, brand new, brand new baby brush. Because I fixed it. So this piece will go along with my Blessed Mother series. I think I have five now. This will be the sixth one, or maybe this might be the seventh one. I don't know, I have to look. I have to really like organize my site a bit more by collection, but. The series keeps expanding. little brother in there. (laughs) I'm trying to get this done because not for my mom's birthday, but I know it's something she'll probably be like, oh my gosh, it's um, just because I have my brother and sister in there.
He's a chunky one. <laughs> hey, my oldest brother, they all, well, no, the oldest one, he was the, the chunkiest. He'd, like, barrel me down, because we were a year apart. Um, not Dominic, um, my other brother, Chris. We were a year apart, and, um, like, he's with us. And when he was little, like, he would... He looked like a three-year-old, like, he was so such a big kid. And, like, when he'd give you hugs, he was just so full of joy, and he'd run at you and, like, give you a hug and knock you down. Like, he would knock my grandma and grandpa and my mom out of breath. He was, like, he was like a freaking football player when he was little. And, um, it was just funny. So, when I was drawing this, I was like, oh my gosh, I figure Dominic would be like this, too. Because he was the last boy. I have three brothers here. One in heaven and one sister in heaven. It was interesting growing up. Because I didn't know about my sister. Um, my mom tried to keep it hidden. But I've always been an empath. And um, kind of suspected there was someone else wow, you know, with me. But not with me. It was weird. I was very confused. Um... You know, like, guardian, guardian angel is one thing, but, like, no, my sister was, like, I feel it. I've always felt, I also found, uh, knew about my aunt, who didn't, she died from miscarriage. Uh, no, sorry, there's two. I have two aunts in heaven. Anyway, one um, died at four months, and um, always felt more connected with her, and that's Aunt Lisa. But I didn't feel called to draw them, because they say once you pass over time, like, like, either you're the age you are at, but as you've been there longer, I have to look into it. But anyway, it's, you, your soul is the age of, I can't remember, but, like, the way it should be, or you, you envision it, or they envisioned it. Anyway, my aunt, I always saw as, like, kind of like a good 18-year-old even though she died at four months, right? And, um, like, they all look the age of how long they've been gone, you know? Like, time is slower. I don't know if I'm explaining this right, but he would still be, he'd be like a toddler now in heaven. And she, Mary Elizabeth, would be, I feel like this age, <laughs> even though she's, I'm 37, so she would be, 32. I don't know. Time's slower in heaven and when you're all that. Anyway, that's how I picture it. <laughs> it's okay if you don't. Okay. Thank you so much for the likes, you guys. Yeah, originally this one, so like I said, I saw this originally in a flame, right? And then now I don't see it that way. I see it as, or I saw it in a candle. And then um, I was going to paint a candle, but I'm like, no, we're going to paint clouds and glow like a flame, but not a flame. Like it doesn't have to be literal. It just doesn't have to be. <laughs> Sometimes literal is just. It doesn't speak to what it can be, you know, what it is. All right, so I'm going to get some blue tones in here for the... Uh, clouds. I was going to say sky, but no clouds blue. Oh, looks like I have a little one here. All right, you guys, have a lovely day. Feel free to follow me and subscribe and all that lovely stuff. I will see you around and hopefully this will get done soon. Thank you so much for hanging out and have a blessed day. Bye.